Hey guys. Okay, so um, I put together this Civil War unit and I will be scheduling this into our upcoming 2018-2019 school year. Um, I will mainly be focusing with the three older kids with these. Uh, most of these will not be cover to cover books. I will be reading some things and then I will um, just schedule in certain um, additions to it because when we do any kind of unit study like we're stopping and we're studying more on one specific subject it will go in throughout the most likely at the end of their day we will start discussing this um, I like to do it for um, just a week or two at a time but sometimes um, there's so much information that it ends up going uh, beyond that but it just depends on how the school year is planned out and if we have any field trips and different things like that added into it so um, this is the Civil War unit and um, let me show you the books that I've chosen and why and we have so many books on the Civil War and the Revolutionary War um, <clears throat> actually I would say World War two we, we have several books on too but um, those two wars we have uh, the most information on and so I didn't get all of the books out. Um, I left some on the shelf that I thought, well, okay, while we're in this, if they want to grab that off the shelf and look, but I won't include it. Cause if I, we would just never stop learning about the Civil War if I included all the books we have. <clears throat> so like, um, I'll just go ahead and the DK eyewitness books. I, I have one of those for each war. Um, and different things like that like space and um, I'm sure most of you have those books um, those I've decided to leave on the shelf and they can uh, pull those off and look at those during the units if they want to it's mainly any kind of DK book is uh, like walking through a museum anyway so that way they can look at it on their own free time and read the the little uh, information on whatever uh, um, object or story they're they're looking at so okay so these are my picks and um, decided where I need <clears throat> to jump in at I guess I'll start here um, this was a dollar at the Dollar Tree and I have several books of all different subjects from there and I kind of throw them because they're easy readers and they're not they're actually beneficial to adults but they're not too too informational where the little kids can't enjoy it and think it's fun too and it's pretty easy to get through them sometimes I don't read all the way through them if I don't think okay well um, that's also talked about in such and such book so I'll just um, wait till we get it there but this is cool because it um, at the very back of it it shows you locations and where they're at like historical sites that you can go and visit that have to do with um, whatever the book is about so that's really neat so we will be going through this book uh, the Civil War and then I wanted to now I will not require this to be a complete read I've read this it's one of my favorite books um, ever written so what I've done is I will there's so much information in this book and it's um, oh gosh if you if you ever get started reading this well if you love history like I do and you get into learning about different things this um, is called manhunt the 12 day chase for Lincoln's killer and it literally goes through um, so much information from eyewitnesses and it tells you the story uh, cover to cover is like the 12 days literally it's like um, it is so great this book was so good it is definitely uh, my top five um, books ever ever read um, the author also has a book that I have here for the little ones and they and we can read this together um, if I ever I need to schedule a time where I can sit and just read this this book cover to cover for the kids and um, it's very exciting uh, it's kind of scary to think that this really happened a lot of it is either letters or um, quotes from people uh, what they uh, when they were being interviewed and um, giving their giving their testimony of what happened and then um, after obviously we get through and they um, capture um, John Wilkes Booth and well I mean obviously he he dies and 
But after all that, it tells you more information about people's lives and what happened after all the dust had settled and really, really interesting information um, about the young fella and his girl that were um, in the booth with Lincoln and whatever happened to them. Um, just, just really good book. I will just say that this is a really, really, really good book. So as an adult, uh, I would take the time to sit out and read this if you um, enjoy history. But the author also made this book and it is a child, uh, like a, um, <clears throat> an adaptation for young people. And so we will read this book cover to cover. Uh, very good. And my kids have not, they bought this for me because they knew how much I loved Manhunt, but they, um, they have not read it. So we will be reading that. Okay, so these books, well, let's just show you this one. So this is really cool. <clears throat> this is the only one I have of these and they have um, all kinds of these little indexed cards. Um, and I only have the Civil War. They have so many, not just wars, but just uh, they have the presidents and they have all kinds of different um, uh, subjects and stuff like that with these index cards. But I will pull this out with this unit study because these things get the kids engaged and they really um, have fun with these and they love this kind of learning. So I will be pulling this out. But just to give you an idea of what's on this um, Civil War, so you have your um, all your men and, and different... Um, places and stuff like that that have have any significance to the Civil War and then they'll give you a little information on the card underneath it <clears throat> so the firing on Fort Sumner um, strategy and tactics first Manassas so all these let's see if we can get through some of these we're getting stuck together here <clears throat> you can see these There we go. So it's really it's Robert Lee. Okay. So there you go. So that's a, a good idea of what this is, um, what this all includes. I do recommend these. These are so much fun and the kids enjoy them. And if I could make I never really liked history as a kid, which is funny to say now because I'm so in love with it now. I've become my father, but um, when I was a child, I did not enjoy history class. I, was, I, I liked math. Math was my thing. And um, now that I'm an adult, I, um, I just really love learning about history. And I have found that this stuff makes my kids... Um, love history too. Even the ones that are more like me as a kid, they really, they really didn't enjoy it. So that makes it fun for them, and they will want to stay, stay in, in tune with what I'm trying to teach them. Okay, so this is Fields of Fury, the American Civil War, and um, <clears throat> this is actually pretty graphic, and it's a lot of information. I will probably pull out information. They have this at their fingertips if they want to read. Um, what's nice about this book is it'll give you a nice big picture with the information on the side. So like, okay, Gettysburg here, obviously, and then the quick facts. Um, if you are learning about the Civil War, pick this book up. This is um, really a great, a great book to give you all the information um, that's really interesting and um, easy read. It's just a lot of pages, and I'm not sure if all the other stuff we're reading will, um, if we'll end up getting through this whole book. I'd love to, um, cause there's so much in here that's really, really good. And it, even though it's uh, actual pictures and it's, um, a lot of more older kids information, they put it in such a way where it makes it fun for them to learn. I wouldn't suggest this for a kindergartner, obviously. They're not going to care or understand, but, um, for my older kids, uh, this will this will be fun for them to go through. Okay, so a torn nation. I'm already going to tell you we will not go through this book cover to cover, um, but I will be pulling out chapters that I feel will um, go in addition with the other books <clears throat> and tell them the information that maybe would fit along with 
with how we are learning. But this is a really good book. I've enjoyed this book. I have not read it cover to cover because I'm always so busy and I have like five books that I'm reading at a time. But um, I have enjoyed this so far as an adult. Um, a, little, a little much for my third grader, but the other books will keep him involved here. So this is the, the stories of the Civil War. I showed you the Revolutionary War version of this. And like I said, uh, when I gave the book review for our Revolutionary War uh, unit study, this is not typically the kind of book I get into. I'm not real thrilled with the, um, the way it's laid out. It's like comic book kind of style, which is, I mean, my kids, my boys love it. So obviously I use it because it'll get them um, interacting and um, enjoying the learning. Hold on, I'm gonna let my dog out. Okay, but um, it's just not, it's just not my cup of tea. But this is the really cute and um, a lot of information packed in little little bitty squares here. So that's fun. Um, this I, I've had forever, obviously it kind of looks worn. Um, and I thought I would throw this in here and I can read this just in one sitting with them and it'll kind of add to the, um, see obviously Slavery's Dark Shadow. It'll add to the times and give them a feel for um, what day and age we're looking at and Abraham Lincoln, what he was going through. Um, this is a kid's version, so it's uh, perfectly good for my third grader and it gives some information that probably uh, adults don't even know. So this is actually, I'm not really sure how I was gonna fit this in, but I really wanted my kids to, in learning about the Civil War, to understand uh, Lincoln himself, uh, get to know his personality and how he um, would have his demeanor and how he would behave. So this, I threw this in here and it is the wit and wisdom of Abraham Lincoln. And so it'll give you uh, different things he said, um, conversations he's had, letters he's written. Um, so I thought that was really neat. We'll throw that in there. And obviously this would not be a, a book we would read from cover to cover, but we'll uh, pull out and discuss him and get to know him a little bit better. So I have the Revolutionary War book of this, and I think in that unit study I had explained that I had this book. I have not read any of this, but I know that from reading the Revolutionary War <clears throat> book uh, version that I have of this, it was um, extremely, extremely, extremely powerful information. I mean, they give you so much from different, um, different points of view. Again, a lot, a lot of letters, maybe something that was put in the paper. Um, so it's a, um, <clears throat> the best little stories from the Civil War. A lot of, uh, let's see what it has to say here. So behind the bloody battles. So uh, people's observations and different things like that. So um, we will definitely be pulling a lot of information out of this book for the Civil War. And then last, this is the fun one. Um, again, I kind of was steering away from some of this stuff because uh, like I said, if I pulled out all of my Civil War books, we would just learn about the Civil War nonstop. We have so many, we have a very large library. Um, but I, uh, I really enjoyed these. And these are the only two um, books that I have found that are made by these um, people that are made in this fashion. And if you guys find some or know of some, please leave a link or comment below because I love these. I have the Revolutionary War one, which I've shown in my Revolutionary War unit study, but the Civil War one is the only other one I have, and I love it. These are um, so much fun, and again, getting the kids interacting with it, pulling the little letters out, um, lifting the flaps, um, and then I get to read and explain things to them. Um, it's a lot of fun. So you'll have your map and then you'll go into, and it's actually made very well. It's like cardstock. So it's um, not gonna tear up too easily. But then you have your little flips here and then you'll turn and there, there's an envelope with a letter in it giving information. And then another letter, which kids have already and taking them out. My kids are like me when we get new books. They 
they can't keep their fingers off of them and they have to open them and even even my kindergarten who can't read them yet obviously and and he just loves flipping through them and looking at everything so um this is what and i think this one has let me get to it yep yeah, it does so just like the revolutionary war it has this page where it talks about the confederate and then the union soldier and then they flap open here and you can read more about them let me see try not to tear it up so then you have a letter here more information union generals confederate generals So the Emancipation Proclamation. So we got all kinds of good little information here. So this is, let me see if I have all the letters. Yep. And then we'll open this up and it's the Battle of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, which we have been to. Um, I didn't get to go to all the fields. Uh, we. We're pressed on time to get back to our home, so we live quite a ways away. So, so this is really, really fun. I enjoy these books. Um, here's obviously your little little codes, and you can talk a little cipher there, and you can talk to your uh, kids about spies and how that helped, or one side, or whatever. So. There you have your Civil War hands-on history. And um, that is all of the books that I have chosen for the Civil War unit as far as uh, going through the kids. I do have several other books that um, I love too. I just um, can't fit them all in. And so um, these are probably what I'll pull from and do most of my teaching from. Um, but if you guys have a book that you think would um, I would be interested in for this study, please leave a comment below. If you liked us, give us a thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Bye.